guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today it is Friday and yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday, Friday. Oh, I'll speak about where I last left off. In the last vlog, we were at the Chester Hotel and just shortly before I got there, I had the phone call that, um, that I got the job that I um, interviewed for. So that's really exciting. So I start on the 11th, so got a little bit of time off, which means, well, when the weather's is as bad as it is, it means really not doing very much at all. So I mean, it's nice, but it's also, it's gonna be a bit boring. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll get lots of vlogging and lots of, well, maybe not so much vlogging, but I'll get lots of blogging done and I'll catch up with that. So if you're not already, go check out my blog. It's Um, The links are always down below. Um, yeah, but today it's so bad outside, so it's just gonna be a cozy day in. I say that, it's absolutely fucking freezing, sorry. It's absolutely freezing in my house. I want to make plans, but I also don't want to make plans because the weather. Typical Scottish weather. Today, the only thing that I'm actually excited for is the launch of the Shane and Jeffree Star palette, makeup line, collection, whatever you want to call it. I'm excited! If you already know me, you'll know that literally all I wear on my lips every single day are Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipsticks. These are the only things I trust on my lips to actually last. The only things I'll wear for nights out, only thing I'll wear when I've got events, the only, the only thing. I don't trust anything else on my lips to last um, these are the only ones I like. So I've got a very big collection now. Favourites are, not actually this one, this isn't my favourite. My favourites are Androgyny, Unicorn Blood, Red Rum, which is my classic red lip that I always get compliments on, on Instagram pictures. That's exactly what that is. Um, and Leo, which is the orangey brown sort of autumnal shade, which is another of my favourites. Those are the ones that I always gravitate to, that's the word. I very much enjoy them. The formula goes on so easy. I'll show you with this one. The applicator is in that sort of like a hollowed doe foot shape and it just fits the lips perfectly. Like they're just so good. They're a perfect consistency. They're quite, they apply quite thick I would say because they're quite opaque. But once they're on the lips, yeah, so comfortable. I just love them. Honestly, I've worn these for probably like four years now and it's all I wear, literally. But enough about them, oh my God. Let's speak about the collection. So I'm after the palette tonight. I've got my reminder set for like just before five. I'll be on the Beauty Bay website trying to get my order. I'm wanting to get the palette because it's just, it's just the packaging is incredible. I actually feel like the palette is going to be very wearable. The top row is all the sort of shades that I like. Very wearable, neutral, everyday shades. The middle row is your fun shades, like the pop of that yellow looks incredible. I really want to try and wear that. I don't know how I'm going to pull off, but I really want to. And the bright pinks and yeah, it's just a bit of fun, which I feel like every palette kind of needs to draw in people. You can't have all the time a boring neutral palette it's just everyone does it everyone's got them already i just think it's different and yeah and then the bottom row is your darker shades that's silver the silver looks incredible i don't actually wear silver on my eyes but i'm definitely going to be trying that out over christmas time because it looks incredible same with the green yeah i just think it's a very like it's perfect for this time of year that bottom row um, I'm excited to give it a go. I'm also after the Are You Filming lipstick, which is the red shade, um, which for me, a red lip is my, I'm not wearing red today, but it's my signature look. It's what I always tend to go for. It's what I feel best in. So another red to add to my collection is always a good one. The mirrors and stuff look really cute as well, but I just cannot justify them. I wouldn't like really, I would use it to get ready, but for the price, I can't justify it. Um, 
but they are very cute. But I think that's all I'm going to try and get. Maybe another few um, lipsticks. I need um, the classic Androgyny like I was speaking about. It's uh, Mine's got completely finished. Well, I say completely finished. It's like, yeah, it's it's essentially there. And I need a Unicorn Blood, I think, as well. But they do last a very long time. Like, I have had my lips... I've had my Androgyny and Unicorn Blood for, like I'm saying, I think it's maybe like four years now. I use them interchangeably, like, most days. Or at least a few times a week. That's them just running out. So, I mean, yeah. They're really good. So in true spirit to get into the festivities for today, I did my makeup with my Jeffree Star products. The ones I have here, I do have more back at my parents, but um, I was I was really wanting to go for like blue eyeliner or something, but all my um all my crazy coloured lipsticks are back at my parents. All Jeffree Star velour liquid lipsticks are eye safe, which means you can use them as eyeliner or you can play about with them on your face rather than just your lips, which I really like. It means like all the fun shades. I've got blue, I've got green, I've got bright orange, um, I've got white. White's cool. Drug Lord, that's a really cool one. Um, yeah, they're just so much fun to play about with and I, I like it. So what I was planning on doing was, well, I took this shade in Skin Tight, which is quite pale, um, but... I did try and put it on my eye as an eyeliner, but I didn't have an eyeliner brush. So I used a lip liner brush and it didn't look very good. <laughs> what I did instead was I popped it all over the lids and then took a little bit of androgyny and darkened it up at the sides. It's not perfect application, but you know, it'll do. And then in my crease, I also am using the Beauty Killer palette, which was my first Jeffree Star palette. Um, this thing is battered and bruised like look at that but I love this palette I really like it um the mirror is all cracked it's a good palette so today I've got the china white all over my lid as a sort of a base before I put down the lipstick and I've got Courtney and Courtney in the crease and then I put a little bit of princess no sorry didn't use princess speaking shite princess is actually for something else so that was the eyes and then on my lips I have, I, I lined my lips with a, a sort of, it's actually very close to androgyny, a lip liner very close to androgyny, it lined with that and I popped this over the top and sort of blended the two together to give me this sort of ombre like juicy, juicy lip effect and then I popped a little bit of the princess shade which is that stunning pink shimmer and pop that just in the middle just to give it a little bit of dimension i really like how it turned out originally it was just going to be a bit of fun i didn't actually like expect it to come out looking nice but yeah i'm kind of happy with it so yeah that takes us up to now um wish me luck guys i really want this palette i really want it eek guys it's almost time I've added the palette and the Are You Filming lipstick into my saved items. So I'm just gonna sit here and refresh it. There's still a bit of time. It's only 42, but once it gets closer, I am literally just gonna be sitting here and press and refresh and hopefully I'll get it. Wish me luck. Oh my God, it's almost time. I've been refreshing it a few times and it's been crashing. So I really hope it's not gonna crash as it hits. 5 p.m. What's going on? It's crashed. It's actually crashed. Please work. Please work. Three hours later. Hey guys. So welcome. Actually, no, I've already started this vlog. Shut up. Shut up. Um. Yeah. So hi. Today is Saturday. It's a very very cold day in Aberdeen today. Um. But today I'm actually we out with my family to see my grandma and then we're going out for lunch and honestly that's about it I'll obviously take you with me but it's not gonna get more exciting and tomorrow I have absolutely no plans so yeah but there is a few things happening um at the start of next week so this will get a little bit more exciting I promise what I've got on my lips today 
This is Unicorn Blood by Jeffree Star. It's one of my favourites, but I had to absolutely scrape the bottle to get this onto my lips today because it is completely finished. But I got it, I did it, and I'm happy. recently so one thing was the, the try it box I get these quite uh, regularly essentially anyone can sign up for this really I think I think this is their tickled taste buds campaign in this one I got a little Grey's box this is in sweet chili these actually look quite good I've had Grey's boxes in the past but I've never actually eaten like what's in it so yeah, I'm excited to give that a go. I might have that for a snack today, actually. That sounds good, yeah. I'm gonna keep that out. We've got a Boost Me Mango and Apple and Carrot and Collagen and Magnesium and Turmeric Energy Blend drink. So I think it's like a smoothie or something. Bye Bye Afternoon Slump. Boost Me is a tasty on the go nutritional lifestyle range created to give you a boost when you need it the most. Source of protein, no added sugar, low fat. Interesting. Yeah, I'd give that a go. That seems alright. A Kellogg's Crunchy Nuts and Granola Bar. Nice and simple. Cranberry and nuts. Can't go wrong with that really. Two drinks. The juice bursts in orange and carrot and a juice burst in orange blood. Yeah, these are one of your five a day I think. No added sugar, vegan friendly. Nice. So yeah, I'm excited to give them a go as well. I like the sound of the blood orange one. Then that's everything for that box. So essentially when you get one of these boxes, you are given a campaign um, and you can like win prizes for posting pictures of the products and sharing them on your social media, etc. So yeah, it's quite a good box to get into. Moving on, while we're speaking about food and drinks, I was also sent this box of drinks. These are the Remedy drinks. So this is by the brand Remedy and these are their kombuchas. No sugar natural drinks. And I was given four different flavors, a box of 24 drinks. I need some help to get through these. If you're ever around at mine, help yourself because I've got plenty. This is probably gonna be my favorite flavor. This is the raspberry lemonade. We've got some ginger lemon. We've got um, apple crisp, that sounds good as well. Cherry plum, nice. They actually reached out to me and was like, oh, do you want to try some? We know you're, you're a fan of gin. These go really well with gin. So, yeah, I can imagine this one being very nice with gin. Apple crisp. I'll be giving that a go. Thank you very much to Remedy because that is so nice. I did not expect that many. And then, finally, I got sent this by Chopstick Styler. And it is their Chopstick Styler in the master size. So this is their biggest sized barrel, I think. I've got a chopstick styler already, not by this brand, but it's a very thin wand. So I wanted something that was a little bit thicker so it could create slightly different curls. This is the styler. Um, as you can see, it's got quite a thick, for a chopstick curl, that's quite thick. Um, I'm excited to give it a go. Yeah. I'm just currently walking to Reese's from Bridge Dawn, as you do. Using this hour, get a little bit of exercise in, speed walk to Reese's and listen to a podcast, listening to Happy Place, which I love. It's one of my favourites. And yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this journey, meet up with everyone, have a bite to eat and then head to the fireworks. And I'm excited. Blair hasn't finished work yet, so I've gone off on my own. He can meet me later. I hope he's going to meet me later. I couldn't get hold of him, so I don't know what's happening, but I'm on my way. See you soon, guys. Oh, mm -hmm.